Hey friends, in last week's What I'm Shooting With This Week video, I told you guys about what I was not going to be shooting with because I am getting rid of some gear. I had gone through everything, I chose a set of bodies and lenses, and I was like, they're out of here. I gotta make room. So, this week, I'm gonna go the opposite direction. This is the stuff that I'm keeping. So, let's take a look. The first thing that I have here is a Canon body. This is the Canon Rebel T4i. This is a crop sensor Canon body, which is great to have around when I want to answer questions about Canon stuff. On here is the 18 to 55 kit lens. And then I also have a Canon 40 millimeter F 2.8 pancake lens. This lens incidentally can also go on Canon full frame bodies, which is nice for when I have those in for reviews. And I have this little Canon point and shoot. This is the PowerShot G7. Now the next set of gear that I have to show you is my Nikon one series stuff. I have two Nikon 1 V1 bodies. These were among the first generation of Nikon 1 bodies to come out. I have two of them because I liked them just that much. On this body, I have the ultra wide 6.7 to 13 millimeters variable aperture lens. On this guy is another variable aperture lens. This is the 10 to 30. This was the kit lens that came with a lot of these cameras in the beginning. The brother to that 10 to 30 kit lens is this 30 to 110. I also have the 10 to 100 power drive lens. This guy is quite the monster when putting it on a Nikon one body. It's kind of funny, but it is great for video. It has this rocker switch that is for electronic zooming. And next I have two prime lenses. I have the 10 millimeter F 2.8 pancake lens, super cute and little. And I have the 18 and a half millimeter F 1.8 prime lens. Okay, now on to my real bread and butter, my Nikon DSLRs and lenses. There are two DSLR bodies that you guys can't see right now because I am shooting with them. The first is the Nikon D810 and that is what I am shooting with right here right now. It's a good full frame body, I love it. And then I also have the Nikon D500, which is shooting my close up video right now. The D500 is my newest DSLR. It's a crop sensor body and the combination of the D500 and the D810, it's an absolute powerhouse combination. For me, I can put a good lens on either of those bodies and I can pretty much go anywhere and do anything I feel like. Now. I also have one more DSLR body here. This is the Nikon D50. This guy is an old one. Look at this little tiny LCD screen on the back. <laughs> but this camera body is being kept because one, I like to have other camera bodies hanging out. I like to have older camera bodies because it's fun for me to shoot them sometimes. But also this guy, its main purpose is really for when I go on an adventure that I feel like we might not all come back from. <laughs> so this guy's getting gonna get some hazard duty. On to lenses. Let's start with DX lenses. My first DX lens to show you is the 35 millimeter F 1.8 G lens. The next one is the cousin to the Nikon DX kit lens, the 18 to 55, which I am getting rid of. I am not getting rid of the extended kit, the 55 to 200. This is an F4 to F5.6 lens. Speaking of kit lens, this is the 18 to 70 variable aperture lens. It's F3.5 to F4.5. This is an older kit lens. I got this one, I believe with the D70 quite some time ago. I like this lens though, because it has good range and it's nice and light and it is F4.5 at the long end. My last DX lens is this powerhouse. This is the 17 to 55 F2.8 lens. It is well, it's a powerhouse. This thing is incredible for just walking around. I've shot this during events a whole lot. Onto my full frame lenses. The first one you guys can't see right now because it's shooting me right now is the 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens. It's on the D810 right now. I like to use it for video a lot of times because of the zoom and because it opens up to f 2.8 so I can get a nice shallow depth of field. And then on my D500, I am using the 105 millimeter F 2.8 macro lens. This one is an older prime lens and I love using it for product photography. I don't do a whole lot of macro photography, but anything product or close up, I love using that lens because it's prime. So it's nice and crisp and I can get a shallow depth of field. I just love primes. Let's face it. Let's talk about some primes. First one to show you is the 24 millimeter F 2.8 D lens. I have quite a few of these older prime lenses. This one is 
so awesome to put onto my Nikon D810 for like hiking. So D810 is a little bit of a heavy body. If I put a nice prime lens on it, it makes it quite a bit lighter than say using the 24 to 70 so that I can walk down into the Grand Canyon with it. Next one is the 35 millimeter F2 D lens. And then I also have a 50 millimeter F1.8 D lens. Speaking of 50 millimeters, I have this 50 millimeter F1.8 G lens. And my last prime lens to show you is the 85 millimeter F1.8 lens. This thing is stupendous for portraits or also for product photography because it is really super duper crisp. On to zoom lenses. I have a 24 to 85 right here. This is F3.5 to F4.5. And this was a kit lens that actually came with the D600. This lens is phenomenally sharp. I love using it outside during the day when there's nice lighting because it's a lighter lens that gets me a lot of range. One more lens to show you. This is the 70 to 200 F2.8 lens. It lives in its bag and its little sleeping bag so that it doesn't just fall over on my shelf because it's a little bit hmm, lopsided, I guess, off balance. So this is 70 to 200 F2.8. This lens is big, it's heavy, but there really is no comparison if I'm going to be shooting sports or wildlife. This is the way I'm gonna go almost every time. Another little silly lens I have here is the, one of the original Lens Baby lenses. This guy's pretty fun. I almost never use it. I actually have a video where I talk about how I almost never use this lens, but I think I'll probably take it out this month like I did last year and take some photos of decorations. And one last thing I have up here is the teleconverter. This is a 1.7 X teleconverter. Okay, that is all of my digital equipment. The last couple things that I wanna show you are my film cameras. First one here is an Icon N65 Beauty. And my last one is my, probably my favorite camera by looks. I love the way this guy looks. It is the Nikon FG and it has a 50 millimeter manual focus lens on it. And yes, if you wanna do the math, that is not one, not two, but three 50 millimeter prime lenses that I have. Yeah, I do, get over it. So that's everything guys. This is everything that I am keeping for the time being. Who knows if I will make any additions to it in the near future. We'll see where the wind takes me, but that's it. So now I wanna know, what do you guys shoot with? What does your arsenal of cameras look like? Do you like to keep a lot of stuff? Do you like to keep a small amount of cameras and lenses that is just your good core stuff that you like to use? For me, I've always liked to have a lot of options. One, because photography is my life. I do it all day, every day, and I like to get some variety involved. Two, because I'm Snapchick, I like to have a lot of different things around so that when you guys ask me questions, I can try those you know, issues or whatever it is that you're having on different camera bodies and see if I can replicate your issues and solve the problem for you. I also like to have backups upon backups upon backups. <laughs> so if I am doing any sort of photo shoot, whether it be for Snapchick or for some bride and groom who want me to shoot their wedding, I like to have lots of stuff just in case. However, I'm gonna go ahead and, and kind of release that a little bit and keep a core set of equipment knowing that every single thing here I would be comfortable shooting with, even the D50 for a lot of different things. And also I even have the Canon camera. So anyway, oh, and I can rent if I need to. There's always that. I always suggest that to you guys. I could do that for myself. And that's it guys. I'll talk to you in next week's What I'm Shooting With This Week video.